Hey guys, I'm Hoshka, and welcome back to part 3 of my beginner's guide to Halo 5 speedrunning. This series is intended to point you in the right direction if you find yourself interested in learning the run. This is primarily targeted towards easy runners, which most of the routing will consist of, but I'll share some legendary tricks from time to time just in case you thought about trying or are generally curious. So let's continue with the game's third mission, Glassed. We're going to skip ahead because the first minute is just riding on an elevator. Once the door opens, you want to head this way to trigger the next set of dialogue which allows the main door to open. Once it does, it's showtime. Jump or thrust through the door and jump down to the left side here. Clamber on this box, up this ledge, and to this rock. Jump up to the ship and over here, grabbing the sniper rifle to shoot the generator, which begins to open the gate. We're waiting on a timer now, so head over here and grab the saw. Now, over here, ground pound through this grate and press the button to open the door. Turn around and trade your secondary weapon for the rockets. Now you can head for the Warthog. Head down the hill to the gate. Try to avoid this spawn, as one certain crawler will flip your hog as you splatter him. Once you reach the gate, Park the left side of your nose to the corner of the doorway at about a 20 degree angle and eject. Go back to the other side of the door and sprint, jump, and thrust where the hog meets the door to get onto this ledge. Now turn and crouch walk under here to get to the other side. Which vehicle you pick is preference, as each has their benefit. I'm going to go with the mongoose here. This point will spawn a soldier and three crawlers. With the mongoose, timing your shot right will wipe them out. Same goes for this spawn as well. For legendary, we're going to need some heavy artillery for the last fight. So head over to this building and clamber up to the top. Grab pound through this grate and hop into the turret to open the tank door without clearing a single enemy. Now hop out and assign your AI to get into the tank. You can kill the crawlers in front of the door to help them get there if you'd like. Now make your way back to your warthog. You can go up the hill as we did, or you can choose to climb this hill. Mind you, this climb only works on patch because certain physics were adjusted during recent updates. Once up here, continue up the hill and attempt to splatter the spawns we discussed earlier. If you miss, just keep going, as we need to make it to the top of the hill. As long as your AI cooperated, they should have teleported the tank to you, saving you the slow drive up there. Alright, back to easy. Up here, there's a soldier and a few crawlers you want to take out. After that, two soldiers and a turret captain spawn. Once they're dead, the final battle starts. Assign your AI to a hog and get ready. Now, this is meant to give you a general idea of the spawns, but it won't show all of them, just the priority ones. From atop this rock, kill these guys. Turn right and kill these crawlers. Turn around and kill these guys, and head over here to kill these soldiers. Head back here to take out these guys, and turn around to nail these guys. A knight spawns here, which is your halfway point. Head back here to get some more rocket ammo and try to spawn kill these crawlers. Another group spawns back here, and another group of crawlers you can spawn kill. Now, take out these guys and clean up some stragglers while you wait for this spawn.
The next two happen here in the center, and hopefully your AI takes care of the one in the far back. The last three have a soldier and crawler, a knight here, and a knight back here. Once everything is dead, head for the gate and wait as the level ends roughly 15 seconds once Sloan starts speaking. And there you have it. The most difficult part is learning the spawns, but you'll pick it up in no time. Once again, I'm Hoshka, and I hope to see you back as we check out the game's first auto-scroller, Meridian Station.